I had the earrings in. <laughs> this is way more disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, welcome back to our stupid directions units. Are... <laughs> you can have that on the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Will it totally distract you? Oh, I'll wipe it off if you it's want. It's gross. <laughs> uh, hey, welcome back to our stupid directions units. I'm Corbin. I'm Amir Khan. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. It's so juicy it's that so it looks juicy. like this. We're drinking wine because it's it's nighttime here. So yeah, nighttime meaning no to the kids. Don't drink wine in the morning in the after, what? unless you have to. <laughs> And to all of you telling me to not drink on camera. <laughs> uh, I don't care. But anyway. Drinking alcohol is injurious to your health. And <laughs> we know. Uh, uh, I'll wipe it off. No, it's okay. You sure? <laughs> That's up to you. All right. Uh, but yes, this is a movie review of... Uh, they might be distracted. I'm going to wipe it off. The movie magic of movie magic. Yes. So this is a movie review of Dil Chata Hai. Dil Chata Hai. Is that high or hey? I think it's hype. Dil Chata Hey. Dil Chata Hey. Because the song. Dil Chata Hey. Exactly. That's what I was thinking of as the song. It's Dil Chata Hey. Dil Chata Hey. This has been requested for a while. Obviously, we just did the trailer reaction a little bit ago, but this is a cult classic movie from 2001. Yep. Starring Amir Khan, Saif Ali Khan, and Akshay. Akshay, say his last name. Karana? Karana. Yeah. And directed by. Farhan. Farhan Akhtar. Akhtar. <laughs> and casted by his sister Zoya. I think that's crazy. Yeah, she was the CD. Yeah. Also, and written by Farhan. He does not look old enough. I know. Well, he was 25 when he did. What, oh, I, I read, I read in the, our Bollywood book. Oh, this was in there. It's in there. Good. Okay. And uh, it's, got a, it's got its own page. It's not just like on the Amir Khan page. Mm -hmm. It's got its own page. And I read that when he was 25, his mom threatened to kick him out of the house unless he really did something that was a breakthrough in his career. And this was it. Really? Interesting. Yeah. yeah so, because uh, I wanted to watch, obviously I know there's a bunch that we need to watch. I wanted to watch something a little, not as dramatic. On I a think. lighter side. We've done yeah, some heavy <laughs> stuff recently. I, honestly, I thought this was a comedy though. And it was a little bit. It but, started that way. Yeah, but it really wasn't. No. Uh, but I was told that this was a kind of a turning point in Bollywood. Uh, from the old school, very dramatic, almost uh, melodramaticness of Bollywood into more modern day Bollywood. This is a big transition movie. Yeah, it's what I remember that. And all of the people who, when we first started watching Amir Khan, which was like at the beginning of the channel, because mm. the very first films we started to watch were his. I mean, Three Idiots and Gully Boy were the yeah. first two right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we jumped right into PK and Dongle and go down the list. And we hadn't watched anything of his in a while. But I remember this was one of those where they said, you got to watch this because this was a big. Change yeah. in, in Bollywood. Absolutely. And so, uh, would you obviously 100% spoiler? It came out yeah. in 2001. If you haven't seen so. this, go away, come back. But everybody else, <laughs> you probably have seen it. We're the last people on earth to. That's pro it. That's probably true. At least, yeah, whatever. Uh, so, yes, uh, what were your initial thoughts? Uh, let me tell you, mm -hmm. we need more bromantic comedies. This yeah, is, this was the second this is, one since uh, the Deborah movie. Yeah, and if you don't know what the Deborah movie is, you're not you, old you, enough, you, stupid baby. Yeah, sorry. go back and you'll find it. <laughs> you'll just look through some of the messages and stuff. But yeah, but this one for me is like the quintessential bromantic comedy. I liked it from the beginning, and it just got better and better for me mm -hmm. as it went on. Yeah. and I wound up loving it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I and I thank you for the heads up you gave me. Because giving me the heads up before, because I texted, I, I watched it on our DVD, and then I realized it was on Netflix, and so I told Rick, I was like, hey, just go ahead and watch it, because I was going to give it to him like the next day, and so I, I gave him a heads up, I said, okay, just letting you know, don't go into this thinking this is like, um, basically, Nawazuddin and Siddiqui right. type it, performances. It's a movie, not a film. It's a movie, and just go in and enjoy it that way. I also told him it's like a turning point in terms of Bollywood. So I yeah. gave him that little heads up. I didn't tell him what I thought about it. Especially in light of the fact that we've just come off of some films that we've watched that fall under the category yeah. of cinematic yeah. works. And yeah. it helps because I can, I'm can. i completely guilty of going in sometimes. And my frame of reference, if it's a little skewed, it can skew my perception of the film. So that, that really helped me sit back and just let it be. Yeah. 
And I, I, I'm sure I enjoyed it all the more because yeah, of it. Yeah, I, I didn't love this movie. I just, I liked it a lot, though. And, and that it, doesn't surprise me. And it's, I think you can know the reasons for it, but yeah, we don't have to just, talk about those right now. Yeah. But I want to talk about some of the stuff I loved. Please do. Film, One, like the music. Yes. <laughs> the music is phenomenal. Fantastic. Some of the best overall. I mean, it's, uh, well, obviously we, um, it's not, I don't know if it's on the channel. Is it was, on the channel? Was it blocked? No, it was, was it oh, on yeah, Patreon. It's on, it's on Patreon. But we reacted to one song from this. Sorry, it's on Patreon for an ex exclusive content. Wait, the one we just did? Yeah. The pants? Yeah. Oh, bummer. Yeah. The, but the first opening number we reacted to. Not, the college party. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that one with the pants, which yeah. is great. That's the pants number. Uh, but yeah, it, it's really, really good. I loved all the songs. The driving, the, the Dilichate. And they all kind of just get stuck in your head, and then some. A lot of the just overtures of the song, but it makes sense because a lot of it was um, uh, Sankar. Uh, I forget. I always forget. It's Mahadevan. Yeah, yes, breathless. yes, breathless. The guy who does Breathless. But both the. It's one of those great movies that has both great songs and mm -hmm. a great score. Yeah. Because I felt, especially toward the end, I was really noticing how good the score was, accompanying the emotion that we were jumping into. Mm -hmm. I mean. Not jumping, we were deep in emotion. Yes, at, at the end. So that's what I, tell me more about what, what it was. It was because I went into this thinking it was comedy, and then yeah. I came out and I was like, "This is more of a drama." It's, I did not expect this much drama in this film, but it makes sense with what people told me is that it's it's kind of a turning point. Most Bollywood numbers, I mean Bollywood old films, were like you would think they're just very very happy, very over the top, right? right? And, and this is very subdued. Another part that I loved about it was. My favorite actor in it was um, Akshay. Was he your favorite of the three? Uh, in this film? In yes. this film. Really? He was my absolute yeah, favorite I, of this film. I have an unashamed uh, bromance ever since the beginning. There's an emotional availability that just draws me to Amir. This is to, probably my least favorite film of his. Really? Yeah. I like and I, the, think, and I, I, I thought no, all I three of them were great. Oh, no. I didn't think he did bad. It's just probably, I just, I would prefer the, my favorite of his is probably, what's the one with the, 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 the Freedom Fighters, what's it called? Uh, oh, uh, 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 Rang de Basante. Thank you. Yeah. That's one of my favorite performances of him. And then I love Lagan, and then, you know, PK, and then Three, uh, three Idiots, all those. Uh, I'd probably love those more for his performance. Hey, the ones that give me the feels, those yeah. are the ones I, I like know. the most. Uh, but yeah, I, I loved, one, this is our first encounter of him outside of the Bollywood. Right. And so it, it fit. Yep. It was a very real so he, he, this actor, it felt like. He, he, none, yeah. none of his stuff was over exaggerated. No, and it fit based on that round table we did. It was yeah. like the thespian, the subdued, yeah. the internal. I believed every single moment he was on the screen. Yeah, I really, I, did, so yeah. I would like to see more of his stuff. Um, I, I, I did enjoy watching Saif Ali Khan. So did I. And how much he's grown as an actor. How much he's grown, but also I want to watch him do more comedy, man. Yeah. His I know physical, he's done a bunch. His physical comedy, one of my favorite moments just for the comedy element of it was when they were in the restaurant and he pulls the chair from the woman sitting down. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was fantastic. I did enjoy that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I enjoyed that a lot. I, I, I was just watching it with my wife um, and I, every single time I was on screen, I'm like, once I show you Sacred, because we haven't watched Sacred Games with her yet, but I was like, once you watch Sacred Games, you won't believe that that guy that you're seeing right here right. is the exact same man as yes. the man that we love as Sartaj. Yeah. <laughs> he has grown. It looks like Sartaj's son. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and obviously he was ridiculously young in this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the uh, I, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the, the bromance aspect of it. Love kind of that. Going and uh, finding themselves. And obviously it started off with... Um, I, I at, at certain points I was confused as to what age they were supposed to be. Yeah, but well, I knew. But it's like most films; they were supposed to be college age, but they look older than college age. It's like, not as bad as Greece. No, these thirty-year-olds being high Greece, schoolers. <laughs> Greece is the biggest laughable high school students who are old enough to have high school kids of their own. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Zuko's over there at a thirty-five. You know, Olivia Newton-John was thirty yeah. when she did that, and everyone else was like twenty-eight. That's so anyway, film, that's the film that gave me a complex about how a high schooler was supposed to look. Right, I, I thought I was. Okay, Everybody. Such a, a big masculine man, but I'm still a scrawny little puny guy. <laughs> Me too. I was like, <laughs> oh, look yeah. Danny Zuko. Uh, I like that a lot. I think Amir Khan did really, really well. This is just, I think my, um, I, I, my, I believed him least in this role. 
hmm. than I did in every single other one. Not that I, I didn't enjoy the film. I did. Like I said, I enjoyed yeah. this film. He, but it's this is probably the one I, I believed him least. That's funny. He is just for me. He's always consistent. Mm -hmm. I just I I I I can't off the top of my head pinpoint anything where I've watched him. Now he was the most unlikable at the beginning because he was. Such I usually a, love those characters. Though. I know you do. <laughs> I know. Uh, but he his emotional availability and I loved I, I loved the turn how it went from what I thought was just going to be kind of a lighthearted romp. Yeah. And I was fine with it that. It definitely switched. It took a turn and it I got emotional. I mean, it went into the feels for me. Oh, you cried? Did you cry during this? A couple times when? I got really emotional. When? I got really emotional. I didn't in case that uh, was a spoiler for anybody. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> let me let me let me clarify it. I'm not talking. I got like as emotional I've I've had in some of the other other films, yeah. like like um, like like Stars on Earth, the, uh -huh. and, yeah, oh, and yeah. <laughs> even in, in PK, um, and just recently Swades, mm. uh, where I'm four different times have tears streaming down my face. It wasn't that. It was tears in the eyes and just wiping them before they fall. A couple of moments. The, the hold on, hold on. Was it with uh, Akshay and his 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 girl? That's his love interest. That's one. I figured you would when, to that. Yeah. The, particularly when when she dies. Yeah. Yeah. And the struggle. Oh, because you're close to death. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, Go the, on. <laughs> the, um, this one had, there's, I think there's a lot about this film that I, I resonated with because it's, it's, a, it's so linked to being in love and falling in love. Yeah. Which is uh, my world. You're right in the now. process of that right now. Yeah, I'm I'm falling and will be forever. And when I watch that depicted on film and and see it depicted depicted in a believable way, there's just a part of any mm. it's really not fair because there's so many times I'm watching films and any Indian woman that shows up that someone's in love with, I'm instantly thinking about the love of my life. So it, it I, I can't help that. Gotcha. It helped me love the film. Yeah. And it added to the emotions, because like when he's watching the opera and she's teaching him about love, and he closes his eyes, I thought that was really nice of Farhan to take us on a technical journey he hadn't done yet with the cinema of, of the film, where he flashed into what his character was seeing, yeah. and it's going through and he's seeing his buddies, and he's seeing his parents, and he's seeing his thing, and then all of a sudden, I thought it was gonna show her, I didn't realize it was gonna show her as that character. Mm -hmm. And showed her up on there. Yeah, that was such an interesting moment. It Wasn't was almost it? a La La Land type. Uh, which totally La La Land. Obviously, we know this was way before La La Land. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm just that's what that's the first thing that would have come to my mind of um, they, something that gets into a film basically. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they, it was really interesting because I was like, oh, Saif's dancing, and I thought I loved I loved both of those. I loved. I loved the, um, well, I love that, that was the, an emotional part for me, was she turns and, and then you see it register with Amir Khan and he turns and looks at her and you realize, yeah, boy's in love. Mm -hmm. uh, and I loved the movie scene with Saif Ali Khan and uh, I don't know, forgive me the actress's name who plays opposite him, which I thought all of the women did fantastic. Yeah, they well. I thought they all were great. Do you remember their name? I, I totally believed all three of them as far as... I believed all of the relationships mm -hmm. that they were all in love, falling in love with each other. Yeah. I love them watching the movie and it becoming the movie where they were the characters. Yeah, I thought that was a, such an interesting moment that I was like, one, an interesting way to, because before, a lot, I was even still, a lot of Bollywood films have these huge Bollywood numbers. Right. Like, that's an interesting way to get a huge Bollywood number into a film. Into a film. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting. We could talk about Farhan uh, because I thought he did a, a really, really good job. Um, for, for, there was only very few parts I, I didn't like, and I could tell you right now, and I don't think it's a surprise. It's oh, some of the acting was melodramatic uh, at, at points. Not the entire time. It's not like Dev Das where the entire thing oh, was melodramatic. No, no, yeah. But certain parts, it, it, it bothers me a lot when it's supposed to be an emotional scene, mm. and then they turn on soap opera music. It, it, oh yeah, it, it bothers with the me. use of score. Yeah, it yeah. bothers me a lot when I get that it. happens. I get it because that makes it feel like a a soap opera, and I I don't like that. But that obviously that wasn't the whole film. That was just a not few, at all. That was a few parts of the film that mm -hmm. I didn't enjoy. Uh, but overall, I I really enjoyed this film. I thought Farhan did a, a really good job. Great job. At, uh, 
making us care about all these characters. 100, uh, especially when you consider yeah. how lighthearted it was at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it just feels like it's going to be a silly little comedy that you're just going to have fun with. Mm -hmm. When it takes that turn, You, I realized, and that uh, there were several moments where I was, I was just emotionally invested in the characters, which yeah. is a credit to them, a credit to his writing, a credit to the directing. You know, when he, when Amir punches Rohan at the... <laughs> I, he was a much more gracious guy by extending his hand. I said out loud, punch him again. <laughs> Yeah, it was yeah. it was a really that whole that whole scene I actually really enjoyed because the when the the juxtaposition of um, the the father going and talking to I want to talk about that yeah, yeah I want to talk about that and I want to talk about the he was romance like, if, you, if you want to pay us back and then I was like I knew what he was gonna say but I was like that's a sweet moment he was like Mary uh, I forget uh, Aksh, uh, uh, Aksha. Akash Akash Akash, Akash. Yeah. Mary Akash right? I was hoping he was gonna say that and I expected it mm -hmm. based on what I thought the film was gonna be. But there's the two things for me that I think, and I'd like to do more reading up on this as far as the groundbreaking nature of the film, not just in the way that it depicted the genre, we know that, yeah. but the two things that I, I find very interesting, and we've seen this a lot, we've seen films coming out of India, particularly coming out of Hindi slash Bollywood, that challenge societal norms that have been a part of what we're learning about Indian culture. For example, to have that man take that switch and say, you're gonna marry the one you love mm. versus the one you should be arranged to. Gotcha. There's, a, there's a lot of people who, would, who wouldn't have made that choice. Yeah. They would have said, you need to marry the one we're telling you you're gonna marry. And the fact that depicted was, we want you to be happy, that's what will make us happy, is, is beautiful to see as is. And this for me, I think, probably even more groundbreaking based on what we have learned and heard, not just in India, but all over the world. I got emotional. I didn't expect Akash to be right there and say, turn around to Akshay's character when he's telling him I'm sorry and he says, I oh. wanna see you. And he says, I wanna see you. He said, how quickly can I see you? And he says, turn around. Hmm. Uh, and they both have tears. And they both hug. It, it's it's not a coincidence for me. I I saw somebody today, my buddy Michael Shumpert, who is one of the few guys I know would take a bullet for me. And Michael is there's only there's only two men who I kiss on the lips, and that's my dad and Michael Shumpert. And when I saw Michael today, I hadn't seen him in a long time, and it was a beautiful thing. When I saw this film today, it reminded me of my relationship with Michael, and that it's. Um, we give each other a kiss on the lips and hold each other when we see each other and we'll look at each other and, and that, is, that is in many respects considered a weakness in the toxic masculinity world where physical affection, hugging, crying in front of each other, saying I love you. Yeah, sadly that's been, it's, it's very that's sad. been made only feminine yeah. by society and, and it's changing. Right, it's, or it, it changes slowly. Or the only depiction of it, and this is true, is that you'll see gay men expressing themselves because the majority of gay men that you meet are emotionally available. Yeah, they're they're not afraid to share their feelings. Yeah, and it's beautiful to watch these three very uh, masculine, attractive men being at, truly the love that they were showing each other was as genuine to me as the love they were showing to the women they loved. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, man, what a that must have been mind blowing and possibly for a lot of young men and women, the first time in their life they saw mm. men opening themselves emotionally and believing it. Yeah. That, that's probably my favorite thing about the movie. Yeah, it was, it, it was really, really good. Uh, it, was, it was nice to have a little kind of almost a turn from, obviously uh, our preference for film is, is more, even though it's not technically drama, that's where, uh, since that's where most of the artistic stuff is, right? That's where it goes. But that makes a lot of the films very serious, right? Exactly. And even though this was a serious film, more serious than I actually intended, uh, it was it was nice to to really enjoy. It. And I would like to, because people get mad if we don't point out, you know, every aspect of a film. Yeah, and every, <laughs> every actor. Yeah, you forgot the, the my two favorite female uh, were um, I, I like Akshay's. Girl, I yeah, guess. For, apologize. I don't know. Yeah, he played she Siddharth and she played um, Tara. Tara, okay, yeah, uh, the character was Tara. 
Uh, Dimple Kapadia. Dimple Kapadia. I thought she was really good. I thought she brought a lot to her character. I in did terms too. Of, uh, one that was an interesting story that she couldn't see her kid because her, her husband was rich and he bought... Yeah, that was... She had a great moment. That yeah. moment when she broke the glass and broke this stuff and he's just watching her with that. And I also thought she was well done, Zoya and Farhan. You cast somebody <clears throat> who looked like she was 15 years his senior, but was also 100% believable that the two of them were in love with it. I completely believed all three of these characters. Yeah. And then I also loved um, Akshay, I mean, uh, Amir's, uh, who played Shalina. Sh which, which one? Yeah, Pretty Zinta. Pretty Zinta. Yeah. I thought she did really, really well. Apparently she's in Dilsey and uh, as well in Beard, as a lot of SRK films. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she. I think she did really, really well. Uh, she was really believable. Like I feel like we said, all oh, Shalini. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm ridiculously glad they never let the white people talk. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that, my friend. Because <laughs> right when they came on screen, you can ask my wife. I was like, oh, oh no, because no. <laughs> the Australian or whatever she was came in. And thank you, Zoya and Farhan. Yeah, they, uh, and I was like, oh God, here we go. Here, here they are, but they never let them talk. And, and I was like, Great again, job. Uh, the actor who plays Rohan did a very good job of making me dislike him in the same way the, the husband uh, in, what was that film? Deborah? <sighs> huh? Deborah? Yes, Deborah, and then there was another one. Ah, oh, crap. We've seen some really good actors have some very small, even smaller than supporting roles, play the 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 dick, mm. for lack of a better, you know. And he did it because it's Richard. It's really easy to turn those roles into a stereotype, and it suck. Yeah, and he didn't. Uh, and and I, he found a humanity in him that was annoying. Yeah, you know, I believed him to be a really selfish, annoying self-centered he didn't love her uh and is not the the is it the uncle to amir khan is that actor not the same guy who played opposite srk in in suede's i have no idea who are you talking about okay he's the guy who's telling the story at the end about why she has to marry rohan and he's been he was the one sitting at the table when he comes over for the dinner and it's just the four of them at the dinner table. no that's that's Amir Khan's love interest's uncle. Okay, the, I knew it was an uncle. I couldn't yeah. remember whose it was, uncle it was. It was her uncle. That actor, we've seen him before, and I feel like we saw him what in was Suede. The, what was his name? It ain't an MMA. I think this is him. Was that him? That yeah, like him. Cellini's uncle. So if, if you click on him, it wouldn't surprise me if he was in Suede. I think that would come up, though. <laughs> I know, I would think it would be one of the top I think it would, choices uh, there. When was Swades? What what year? Uh, I don't know. Drishyam. Yeah. Well, I know we've seen him. It it may have been another film. Swades. 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 <laughs> nope. No, he wasn't in Swades. But it said he was in Drishyam. Maybe that that's yeah, what you asked in. about Swades. Well, I know, <laughs> but I wasn't definitively <laughs> pounding the table for it. He was in Rat Race. I loved that. Yes, but I actually like. Uh, oh, he was a short actor too. Mm. <laughs> he was in a short film. You racist about shorts. Racist <laughs> height has nothing to do with your race. Uh, but yes, uh, like it, I, I, I really enjoyed this film. I, I did too. I would watch it like if it was on. I, I was watch literally it. just gonna say that if I turn on the TV and it was like, on, I'd be like, oh just, yeah. It's just like Deborah. Deborah. It's like it's. I, I would turn it on. Yep. And if it was on, I'd be like, yeah, okay, we'll watch this. That's good. Yeah. But yeah. there, there was there was something about uh, and funny, both of those feature Farhan. One is an actor, one oh, is yeah. a director. Yeah. <laughs> we've, had a, we've had a strange trajectory with a lot of actors. We but, have. Yeah, yeah, his is strange as well. His is very strange. <laughs> his is very strange. But yeah, and but, well, anyway, we yeah. we lo love the movie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know. Let us know what we should watch and review next. We uh, we're we're close to sixty films. Yes. For the year, we'll have done 60 films. And hopefully we can get to more next year. 120. I like to, I like to try to do at least two a week. And we've got a ton if, of stuff to watch here in America right now, too. These are all gifts we've got. I know. I was going through the list we already have. We have at least... Oh, yeah, for award season? 
we've got, just for award season, we've got 40, and then the stupid babies have suggested another 100. That million? are at the top of the list. 100 million? Oh, no, I'm talking the ones that are just at the top oh. of the list. So we'll be doing the channel at least through next year. It's launcher. <laughs>